All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 dan. Dean Bodie Show. A little bit different look today, because we figured something out. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Dean Bodie, we like the rough edges. We're just going for it. No editing, no nothing. We just go A to Z, put it in the can, and we're done. DeanBodie.com is the website. We have the link on there where you can blast over to the podcast. And also the social link where you can blast over to the YouTube channel, Dean Bodie Podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts, and Dean Bodie Show, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I, Space Show, is the YouTube channel. Come on, man, 800-878-9698 is the Bodie Hotline. She's taking calls. I don't know. I think in this view, you might be able to see her over there to the side, chilling out on her love seat, watching her favorite show. The DVDs go in the high def. The dolphins are swimming around. I don't know what's going on right now behind me, but she likes all that nature stuff, all that fishy and all the, who knows, when the otters are swimming on their backs and everything. She's a wolf. She gets it. She does that kind of talk. 2,000 years of Japanese DNA, the Shiba Inu. Just in case you didn't know, Shiba Inu means small dog in Japanese. Oh, I just taught you Japanese. Excellent. Bodhi's not the typical color. We call these the creamies. They're typically brown and beige. Some got the black and the brown. Creamies are a little more rare. And as it has it, if you enter a show, like dog shows or whatever you want to call those kinds of shows, they take points off for the creamy because they're not the typical color. Listen, Bodhi goes to the show, it's all over. You might as well just start throwing blue ribbons right at her one at a time because she's walking away with the gold. Got it? Good girl, Bodhi. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodhi. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah! DeanBody.com. Again, 800-878-9698. Call the line. It's fun. Leave something fun on there. Do a little sing-along. Who knows? We'll put it on as a feature on the show. You got problems dealing with the anxiety, depersonalization, derealization like I do and have for over 25 years. Send an email. Dean at DeanBody.com. We'll do it back and forth. I'm here to encourage you to move forward and get through it. We're a team, man. I don't play around here at Dean Bodie. So what's going on, man? What's happening today? Um, you know, I, I was going to do kind of a sing-along with a certain group, if I can get it into my head. Uh, can't do it for some reason. But I was thinking about David Lee Roth and Van Halen. Where have all the good times gone? Where have all the good times gone? Knocking out the diva dying things he used to do. Mom was on our side, we had everything to do. Dun 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 dun. Ba da ba da be ba ba da ba. Won't you tell me where have all the good times gone? Diver Down album, Van Halen. I know I screwed the words up, but that album takes me back, man. Cassette tape with the diver flag on there, the red and white. I love that album. And that's got other songs on there that are awesome. Um, go check it out. What can I tell you? So I got a little problem with the Uber Eats. Here we got to get into this right now because with the pandemic schmandemic and the COVID schmovid, the turnover of the food isn't the same as it was like before this. So the food quality is taking a hit, man. You got to watch out. I like this one place. I'm not going to call out any names, you know, because we don't do that. What I'm going to do is just not use them anymore, right? And I like this place because they have like different sides that normally you don't see, like fresh string beans, like really good, the real long ones that are like have the little bite to them made al dente, like whatever you want to call them, but they blanch them. They do it the right way. Um, the sweet potato on the side, very fresh, man. They smoke their chickens. It's a little bit different than a rotisserie, and they got some great salads and other kinds of things. Not to mention the snickerdoodle cookies and the peach cobbler is crazy good. Because once in a while, Bodie and I like to share a snickerdoodle cookie. Got a problem with that? We do our thing over here. 
She likes to do a couple licky licks on the coconut milk ice cream from So Delicious. Oh, yeah, the non-dairy, because we don't want to do the lactose in this house. Milk sugar. Try to avoid it as much as possible. You know, we're not perfect, but we try to make better choices when we can. So I call them up. The string beans come on the side. They're mush. I'm seriously, I'm disappointed. They're mush. The French fries, mush. The, uh, the chicken wasn't the way it was. So how do you handle stuff like this? Let me tell you, I'm going to defer to one of my favorite comedians, Sebastian Maniscalco, when he talks about you go to a restaurant and somebody doesn't like something, you don't tattletale on the restaurant. You look at it, you say, this food freaking stinks, and you don't go there anymore. That's it. No tattletaling, no 18-page review and uh, bust their chops about it. You just don't do it anymore, right? That's how we do it. Oh, yeah. So it's crazy with the Uber Eats because you got some places that like you like the French fries that they make. And you got the other place over here, you like the way they make this. And you got the one pizza guy that has the perfect dough, but he screws up the sauce. And you got the other guy who makes the sauce perfect, but he screws up the dough. When you get New York-style pizza, Everything has to come together as one. The crust has to be made with, I don't know, the water from New York, maybe. That's the problem. And the sauce has to be on point and go again with the fresh mozzarella. Because you can tell when the cheese is not fresh and all. But when you get that perfect slice, like we used to get down in the Fort Lauderdale Strip, After a night out on the town, right around the corner from the elbow room, if you've never been, you want to go. It's a landmark from like the 50s. Right on the ocean, two-story place. But right next door, I think you got the gift shop, and then you got the pizza place. This place crushed it. And you'd go get a slice after a night out of this New York-style pizza. In the bite, you ever had the perfect bite? This was the perfect bite. And when you're like after the night on the town, it probably tastes even better because not only are you starving, but you know what I mean. So, but you know, you, looking for that perfect this and the perfect that, I'm getting sick and tired of it. This place does one better than the other, and this one does that. Enough. I get a nice chicken parm from this guy, and the other guy's chicken parm is nasty. I call the one Chinese restaurant place up, and they got the good sweet and sour soup, right? But the, um, uh, the, what do you call it, the General Chow's Chow's chicken is not good. And the wings are horrible. And I go to the other place, the wings are fantastic, okay? The... uh, General Chow's chicken is unbelievable, and the hot and sour soup is nasty. So, let me tell you my Chinese restaurant story. I call him up for delivery, and I said, yes, I would like one chicken and broccoli, okay? And I would like, um, instead of the rice, I would like to get vegetables instead. I don't want the rice, I'm trying to get the six-pack over here and shed off some body fat. I don't want the rice. So please substitute the rice with the vegetables. Okay? So he says, we can't do that because the rice comes with it. And I said, I know, but I don't want the rice. I do not want the rice. Put vegetables instead. It's a healthier choice, and I'm trying to, you know, I'm on a program, and I don't want to do it. Yeah, you know, but we can't do that. The rice is free. It comes with it. The rice is free. I said, oh, the rice is free. I see. So I tell you what. Forget the entire order that I just said and just deliver me the free rice. And he hung up on me. (laughs) The games. The games, man. We got to play the games with the other restaurants here. You got this good. They got that good. Man, if I could hire the Flash... Okay, the flash like in the comic books, 
and I could give him a menu of different things that I like from each place, knowing that it's all going to get dialed in the right way, and let him fly around and bring it back in three minutes. Because as from what I remember, the Flash can cruise around the world in like 60, I don't know, 60 seconds, something like that. Or maybe the $6 million man back in the day who ran 60 miles an hour might be able to get it done. But it's frustrating. So you just don't go back. I'm not going to call them back. I can't believe that they would put the string beans in there like mush. And they pushed it in the container to make it extra mush. Not good. I'm going to take you a little turn here. And I'm going to go down a road. I really don't really want to talk about this today. A little stormy weather out here. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit cranky, but I'm trying to turn it up. Okay, I'm going to talk about it anyway. The Skyway Bridge going over to into Clearwater. If you've never been, Skyway Bridge goes in Tampa, Clearwater, you got to make that run. If you can time it where you go up the Skyway Bridge when the sun is coming down, it's this crazy high bridge, like the highest anywhere, I think. As the sun is coming down, it'll blow your mind. It's like the most unbelievable drive. I'm in the CRX. I got the windows down. The CRX SI, excuse me, silver and black. The windows are down. The sunroof is open. The sun is coming down. And I'm on my way, guess where, to propose to my girlfriend. And if you know from a previous episode, this is a different one. So this would be proposal number two. Okay? The one that got away that I talked about, that's a different story. I did actually want to go shopping for the heart-shaped diamond at the time. We're talking, I never got to it. It didn't work out anyway. The second proposal, I did it on the microphone at the bar Water Street. Didn't work out. This is number three proposal. And I went all the way over the Skyway Bridge. This was the nerve-wracking drive. And the sun was coming down on the CRX. And I'm like, wow, this is so meant to be. Everything's going to be perfect. And on it goes. I get over the bridge and I'm cruising in. And I get to the townhouse. And she's waiting for me. And I'm waiting in the parking lot because we had a thing like I was going to be there like at 8 o'clock or something. And it was like quarter after 7. So 45 minutes of waiting because I didn't want to go early. I didn't want to time it wrong. I didn't want her to not be ready. It was kind of a strange thing because we haven't seen each other in a little bit. And I thought the ring and all this was going to make it all better. So I went there, I got there, and um, I walk in, and I do my thing, and I get on one knee, and I propose, and she says yes, and everything was cool for like maybe an hour, <laughs> okay? But that didn't, long story short, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. But um, these are the crazy stories of when you're young and you just kind of go for these things or you think that things like that are going to fix a relationship that's really broken and you can't force nothing. If you got to force it, it ain't meant to be, you know? Right now, me and the Boatster, me and Bodie, man, if I knew my soulmate was going to have four legs, it would have saved me a lot of money and aggravation. She's a good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. She's the good girl, Bodie. Yeah, she's the best girl in the world. Ho! Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable relationship I have with Bodie. It's been so unbelievably awesome. Me, uh, been able to focus on myself. Let me tell you, if you've never given yourself the opportunity to focus on you... You deserve it, you know, because you have space to think, man. You have space to get yourself dialed in without any distraction. It's really kind of an unbelievable thing when you put in some time to do it. I recommend it highly. I recommend not drinking. I recommend no drugs. I recommend no weed. I recommend eating clean, keeping yourself focused. And let yourself be by yourself, I don't know, I would say a good three years. After that, 
think about what you want to do then. You want to meet somebody, you want to bring them in, you want to do that, but you've had that alone time to think about what you want to do. It's been valuable for me. Everybody can do it their own way, but that's just all. Little Dean Bodie dropping knowledge, you know? So I hope you're having a great day out there. Happy Father's Day. R.I.P. Jim Kick, Miami Dolphins. Prayers going out to you and your family. I'm from Miami, Florida. I'm a Dolphin fan through and through. And uh, I've got a picture of Larry Zonka, Mercury Morris, and Jim Kick on my wall. And it's really hitting home today. So on top of Father's Day, those of you that don't know that I lost my father when I was about three and a half years old. I miss him to the max, to the max. And uh, he's knowing what I know about him and the way he ran businesses and where he was going in life on this kind of trajectory, owning toy stores, new house in Miami, the whole thing um, at a at a really good clip. Um, It's unbelievable. So knowing that he inspires me constantly, that's what keeps me moving forward. Things like that. So focus on the positive things no matter what's going on or who. Reach out to family. Try to touch someone you haven't touched in a while. Say hello. We're not here forever. Got news for you. This is not a, a, a practice run. We're here one time. 400 trillion to one that you're even born. It's a miracle. Your parents had to have that extra glass of wine. Whammo, here you are. You made it. All right. Do something, man. Do something to reconnect with somebody before you don't have the opportunity. I have some Facebook miracles that I'm really appreciating, and we'll see how it happens as we move down the road. I know we're going to come out of this covid schmovid pandemic schmendemic bigger, better, and stronger. Listen, DeanBodie.com, Dean Bodie Show, podcast, all right, or podcast show. And uh, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show is the YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, we do the teasers earlier in the day. They're kind of fun setting up the longer one that we call the show podcast. And, uh, we're, you know, remember the Dean Bodie podcast, wherever you get podcasts, Apple, Spotify. We're on the Google. We're on the iHeartRadio. We're on the Stitcher. Uh, all over those platforms, man. It's kind of fun being on different ones. They have different looks and things like that. So if you just like listening to the podcast, as I do with a lot of podcasts, and just lie back and listen to the audio, if you happen to hear a space, and maybe I'm doing some kind of kung fu demonstration as I do the Shiba kung fu as I show people the practicing and all of that, or... You know, I hold up the picture and I sing good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. She's the good girl Bodie. Yeah, she's the best girl in the world. Oh, and you're just listening. Well, you'll know you have to come and look at the Dean Bodie show on the YouTube channel to see the video part. That's the whole thing. You get a little of this, you get a little of that. You get a little of this and you get a little of that. Have an awesome day. DeanBodie.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Happy Father's Day.